It's a new year and January is always a great time to try new things that will improve your health. This month's show is going to talk about our gyms and new fitness classes starting at Clubhouse 5. We're also going to talk with villagers who are thriving at high levels because they work out almost every day. Hi, I'm Jennifer Murphy, the Senior Recreation Supervisor for the Special Events Recreation Department. Um, I've been here for over 10 years, coordinating classes for the residents. We have a very exciting 2018 coming up. There is a new fitness room that's opening at Clubhouse 5. There is an existing fitness room that has equipment, but this is a second new room that we're um, going to be having open in, in the new year. The uh, fitness room that is there currently has equipment for residents to drop in and work out on the various pieces of equipment. This particular new room is going to be an open room with scheduled classes. So coming up um, the second week of January, we're starting all these classes beginning Monday the 8th. We have over a dozen new fitness classes. Um, I've contracted a bunch of new instructors. Um, for example, we have um, some new yoga classes that we're rolling out. We have a therapeutic yoga, which is really for beginners where they're going to start really slow and progress into possibly the flow yoga class. We also have an aromatherapy class, which is uh, combined with yoga um, to get all your senses working during your yoga class. Um, we have an instructor, Patty, who's come to um, us from Honolulu. She's moved in recently and she ran a fitness studio in uh, Hawaii. She's going to be teaching some brand new classes that we've never had, um, a Coraline, a posture class, uh, and she's also going to be teaching a stretch and relax class. Um, these classes, um, some of them are twice a week, some of them are once a week. Um, we also have a Pilates class that we're going to be starting. Um, this is with an existing instructor, Casey Chavez. Uh, he currently teaches aquatic fitness in the evenings. He's very popular with the residents who take that class, so he's adding on this uh, Pilates class. We also have um, a couple other yoga. Uh, Christine, who teaches a chair yoga, which has been so popular, she's been gracious enough to add on a second day. She's a volunteer. So this chair yoga is for residents who are really not able to get on the floor, but they're, they still want to participate. They still want to get their work out. And eventually, after taking that class, she has told me that there are residents that eventually are able to get on the floor after you know going through this chair yoga class. Um, we also have a silver glove class, um, boxing. It's a non-contact boxing class that's coming on board with our instructor, Andrew. Um, that's something new. There's some uh, type of gloves that you get to wear, and it's, like I said, non-contact, but it's getting a really good upper body workout and a lot of eye and hand coordination. Um, we also have a couple other classes that are coming on board. Um, with, one of them is going to be with um, a dance instructor that we have, uh, Rebecca Gilad. She's currently teaching an Israeli class. She's adding on a Latin line dancing class. Um, this particular class is actually going to be at the Performing Arts Center, but she's also a volunteer. So if you are really not into working out, but you want to try maybe a new dance class, I've never seen a Latin line dance class. So I'm really excited to see how she incorporates these Latin dance moves into line dancing. Um, we also have coming up a stressless meditation class. Um, this is another volunteer. She um, has, she's certified, she's a doctor, and she's really going to teach people how to really meditate and release all the stresses that they have going on in their life. Um, I'm really excited about that class. That's also a free class. So there are a handful of classes that are free, and then there are classes that are going to have a fee um, with the class. And so for those classes that do have fees, residents who are interested, you can register at the club. Clubhouse 5 office where the class takes place. You can call our main number, which is 949-597-4273, register over the phone with a credit card, or you can come into the recreation office and register here in person. Um, if you have any questions about these upcoming classes, um, there is a packet that has been placed out at the clubhouses that I put together. It's called New Year, New You. So if you're looking for something new, it's the new year. Um, you, you know, you've got these resolutions and things that you want to change and you want to just try something. I really encourage you to get a hold of this packet, look through. There's something for everybody in this um, and try something new. You know, a lot of these instructors will allow you to go to the first class for free or it is a free class, so it doesn't hurt to just go and try it once. So I encourage you all to get out there, try something new in the new year. Happy New Year to you all. So Jennifer, you've worked here like 10 years. How is working with all the villagers and creating all these amazing events for us, how's that helping you thrive? 
Well, as a child when I was growing up, um, I didn't know it then, but I was always the first person to volunteer with not only my family, but my friends to help plan social events. I, from a very young age, just loved getting people together. I loved planning trips. I loved just all, everything that went into not only the activity itself, but getting me there. And then I stumbled upon a recreation degree. I went to school, you know, I got my degree in recreation where they not only ta taught me, you know, all the planning aspects, but how recreation really is what we all live for. It's what, it's what we all need and it's what we all strive for. You know, we work really hard so that we can enjoy things and have, you know, life and vacation. And so once I got this job and I was able to really do what I love, you know, the whole, every little step of that I do with the planning of the events and classes, that's enjoyment for me. And then when I go to the event and I see their faces and they come to me and they're, and they're thanking me and they had such a great time and it meant so much that my heart literally explodes. It's just a really good feeling to be able to do what you love and to see the joy on others' faces. Welcome to the Community Fitness Center. My name is Peter Kwan. I'm the fitness supervisor. I've been working for the village for 15 years. All right, so Peter, this is a pretty amazing gym. Um, how does it help villagers thrive with the Center Gym? We have equipment here that will help the individuals work on their strength, their cardiovascular, their flexibility. We have staff here that are very knowledgeable with the senior body. They are either Gerald Kines or they have their kinesiology degree in, in fitness, so they can help each individual reach their goal. What happens to people as far as changing their fitness routines as they age up? They have to adapt to their ages. Each time they get older, usually something will happen in their body, either injuries or a, a life change that they have to change their routines, and that's where the staff comes in. They're very knowledgeable to help them reach their goals and help help them heal those aches and pains and recover from either surgeries or or just a, a, a pulled muscle or, or anything that happens during their daily activities. As far as our fitness facilities, can you kind of give us a rundown of what we have to offer for villagers? We have three fitness centers now. Our biggest one is Clubhouse One Fitness Center. It's about 5,000 square feet. The second biggest one will be the Community Fitness Center, which has been remodeled and it's increased in size by about 850 square feet, so it's now up to, I believe, 3,300 square feet. And then we have Clubhouse 5, which is a self-service. There's no staff in there, but you can come pretty much any time from 5.30 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. For people who want to um, either start up a routine or increase their fitness in 2018, what would you suggest? First, to get an appointment would be really really uh, necessary for the residents to get an appointment because then they can be shown how to use the equipment correctly and safely. That's the main importance of our fitness staff here to make sure that everyone's exercising safely. We have personal trainers at each facility at the Clubhouse One as well as the uh, community center and they offer a wide array of, of training hours for the residents so if you want to exercise in the mornings we have personal trainers in the mornings, we have female trainers, we have male trainers, we also have later in the evening trainers at Clubhouse One. Each trainer has their own specific uh, training styles, so if someone's looking to gain more strength, then they can go with a, a trainer that is basically going to train train them for strength. All of the trainers are, are educated, so they'll get you to the goal that you'll need. So my name is Kevin Gorski. I've been working here at Laguna Woods now for almost three years. Three years, two and a half years coming up to three. Been training for about two of them. So like every day of it, um, love the people I work with. I've really met some cool people. Um, all the trainers here are very well uh, knowledgeable help you with any range that you may have. Um, we go from warm-ups to stretches to core work to upper body to lower body. You name it, we can do it for you. So we'll get you guys in here and get you going real soon. Why should people sign up for training? 
Why should people sign up for training? Because it's a healthy lifestyle to live. You have a personal trainer with you one-on-one -on -one the whole time to help you through any range of motion you have, any new exercises you may have. Exercise protocol will list it down for you verbatim, make full programs for you guys to do on your own when you're not with us. So very great incentive and it's a really great price. 25 bucks for 30 minutes is not too bad um, and it's undivided attention. So it's a great incentive for you guys. What made you decide to pay for some personal training? Um, the main thing is that uh, it makes me show up. Otherwise, I don't. <laughs> but I have an appointment, and I come here and I do pretty intensive training for a half hour, and that's, that's good for me. Also, I've gotten hurt flinging around weights on my own. So the prime directive is make sure I don't get hurt. Start off slow first, uh, maybe just a walking program out around your neighborhood, see if you can do one lap around your complex. If you're starting with our fitness centers, usually less is more. We will always give a program that's just going to get you started. Number one would be consistency. Try to be coming at least two times a week, minimum. Work your way up to three times a week is going to be your best option. And what happens to people when they start consistently working out? What do you see in here? They get stronger, number one. Their conditioning in their, on their cardiovascular gets much improved. Um, flexibility improves. And then we see the subtle changes. They're, they're walking better. Their balance is getting better. Um, they also seem to be more cognitive as well. So Suzanne, how has moving into the village and using all of our exercise equipment changed your life? Well, um, I dropped 40 pounds, that's a start, and I just love it. I, I feel, I get the endorphins going, and it's absolutely uh, part of my day, every single day. Okay, how many days do you work out every year? Uh, every day, except when the gym's closed, or I'm on vacation. And so you're, you're, you've got the row, you're sitting at the rower. How has the rowing machine changed your life? Well, it just it gives me an overall workout, plus uh, I did the circuit training class for a couple of years. I'm taking a little break from that, and um, I just love it. It's the best overall workout machine in the gym. And you inspire other people. Tell me about that. Well, I've gotten a lot of women to join the row club and to really take it seriously about uh, enjoying this little machine and what it does for you. And what have you seen with your women friends that have taken up the rowing machine? Oh, they're just happier. They're happier. You look really happy. <laughs> You've got a I wonderful am. smile. Thank is that because you. of the exercise? Oh, my life is good. My life is good. And the exercise is huge. For people who want to feel better and look better, what would you recommend they do? I recommend they get their butt in the gym and start somewhere. Anywhere. Doesn't matter. How long did it take you to get fit? Because you came here and you really weren't working About out. About three and a half, four months. That's it. Seriously, every day. And I felt 100% better. Like I said, I lost 40 pounds, so that's huge. I'm down to 160 now, and that's, that's a good weight for me. Because you look like a million bucks. Oh, thank you. I don't have any makeup on. I know, that's what I mean. You just look fresh. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and you look bright eyed and bushy tail. Oh, well, thank you so much. Tell me who you are and how long you've been working out here in the village. Okay, my name is Suri Klein and I've lived here for 13 years. And ever since I moved here, I came to the gym because I used to go to gyms on the outside before moving to Laguna Woods. And I've been exercising since the 1970s, all different facilities, and this was just heaven coming here and having it at my doorstep. And how did working out here change your life? Well, it makes me feel more energetic. I'm involved in a lot of things here at the village, and I never seem to be tired out. And plus the fact, meeting so many wonderful people here, that was the plus of exercising. I have a lot of friends. I have gym friends. I go to the pool in the summer all the time. I have pool friends, and then all the other wonderful people that I've met at clubs and dances that are here at the village. And did you lose weight when you started working out here in the village? Uh, yes, about uh, six years ago, um, I was working on one of the machines here. It's the leg machine, the leg press. And it was by a mirror. 
and every time my legs went this way, I would look in the mirror to make sure my form was right, and I saw all this stuff, blubber I'll call it, <laughs> coming right up. When my legs came up, so did this. I said, oh my gosh, is that me? And I, that was it, that was it. I mean, I knew I had gained weight, but I didn't realize how much because I hadn't been on a scale in five years, I would not do that. And when I got on the scale, then I realized what I had to do. So I lost 50 pounds, it took me 10 months. I did it very logically. I did not starve. I gave up all the things I liked, carbs, bread, pasta, rice, and potatoes. And I lived on chicken and fish and vegetables and fruit. And it came off slowly, but it came off. And I've been able to maintain the weight loss for the last five to six years because that's how I eat now. And I try to remember why I lost weight and how I did it. And I just continue it. It becomes a way of life. I've dieted all my life and always gained it back. And I realized a long time ago that you have to change your eating habits and your lifestyle in order to live comfortably and enjoy food, because I sure do love my food. And so I'm really happy that I've been able to achieve. I have a three pound weight goal. Sometimes I'm up the three, sometimes I'm down the three, but I never put on more than that three pounds. And that gives me a little bit of room when I want to cheat a little on the weekend, and then I go right back to everything on Monday. What advice would you give for the women who might want to lose weight and get really fit in 2018? Well, what I have to say is take stock of what you eat, how you eat it, and almost what you like, because the things we like are what puts weight on us. And believe me, I was a fatty all my life. I have never been this thin. I didn't know how to diet starting in high school. So first of all, you have to have a diet that you can keep. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle, a change in your food that you can do the rest of your life because once you maintain that, you will never gain weight again. And going to the gym, what motivates me going to the gym is the size of clothes that I wear and how I look. And I always tell people, if you are satisfied with yourself looking in the mirror with no clothes on, then you don't belong at the gym. But I was never satisfied. I never liked the way I looked. I was always too chunky. So that's what I tell people. And um, it's true, this is what I do. Coming to the gym and watching what you eat, and you will be so happy when you see results. And you do get results at the gym. And my suggestion would be to have a program set out for yourself like I did years ago here at the gym. And I change that program with the personal trainers here every year because if there's new goals that I want to achieve, they help me. What parts of the body I want to lose more weight or, I mean, uh, firm up and tone up. And they are so wonderful giving advice. So they make programs out for me. And that's what I use to exercise with. So I'm never alone when I'm here. If I have a question, they're here to help me. If I don't know how a new machine works, they're here to show it to me. So I just love the people who work here. How long have you been using this balance ball? Well, I mean, I use it for six, seven months, maybe. How's it changed your life? How are you improved? Well, it, I wouldn't say it changed my life, but it's definitely improved. It's, it's a spiritual stuff. I would say it makes me more energized uh, in, in my rest of the day. So in, I used to go to the gym every day, and uh, I uh, do a lot of exercise and all these machines and all this stuff. Adding this stuff, it's kind of, I feel more energized the rest of the day. How often do you do the balance ball? Five, six times a week. And how long? About six, seven months. And how many minutes do you use this routine that you do? Uh, it takes me probably between eight, 12 minutes, something like that. And uh, I just compile the, 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 the set that fit to my needs. You guys have lived here like a little over three years. How has living in Laguna Woods changed your life? Oh, our life is just so easy. It's, uh, we get around by a golf cart. We don't have to go on the main roads. Uh, we get to swim in the morning every day. We don't work anymore. <laughs> So we don't have to get up and go to work. We just have to get up and exercise, and the exercise is the, the main thing we do in a day, and the rest is uh, just enjoy. 
Like, Clark, give, give me sort of your ex- exercise routine and mentality. Well, we, I think most people that see us or our family now that knows us knows that we swim five, six days a week. Um, and since we've been here, we've swum over two million yards. And um, Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he tracks it yeah. on a spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we've... We've increased every year except this year where we try to do some things different and a little better. But it's just something that we consistently do and it, it's the focus of our day and then we move on to other things as time allows. And Igor, you didn't swim beforehand, so how's learning to swim and do all this, how's that changed you? I was somebody who didn't like to get my hair wet. <laughs> <laughs> and but I've lived with a swim coach. Clark was a swim coach early in his career, um, for 40 years. We always ran together, uh, but I never shared the swimming. But now I love going in the pool. I just love entering the water. The water's always perfectly clean here and beautiful. I increase my ability. In the very beginning, I swam 25 yards and then breathed at the end for a while, and then 25 yards back. But now I can swim right along with Clark. Uh, I do that by using uh, something called zoomers. They're little short fins. I'm motivated by all the people that are swimming here. Uh, There are 80, 90 year old people that have great muscle tone and they swim every day or they swim often and they just uh, they just amaze me and I hope I'm one of them uh, in 30 years. (laughs) Two million yards? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, just, oh, well, it's, it's a little more. It's been about 700,000 a year. It's about, it works out to, um, we swim an average of 25, 26, 2700 yards a day. Okay. 1700 yards is a mile, so you're like, what is that, yeah. like a mile and a half? Yeah, so it's a mile and three quarters, a mile and a half. We take our time doing it. It's all relaxed swimming. It's very comfortable. The feeling after you swim, You sit in the hot tub a little bit, you take a shower, you get cleaned up, and you just feel great, you know, for the rest of the day. And then you drive the golf cart home, and it's all easy. It's meditative, the the breathing, the, you know, the ongoing breathing is just like any um, exercise routine that requires good breathing. And it's it's meditative, um, because it's repetitive. Um, you can get into a nice, comfortable zone. What about taking time off? What's the most time you've spent not swimming as far as days? Do you track that on your spreadsheet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's usually when we're traveling. What, do you mm-hmm. notice any kind of... What's different? Let's, have you taken a week off? Yeah, it was awful. I had a, um, <laughs> my meniscus repaired, and they wouldn't let me get in the water for a week, and that was awful. And when we're traveling mostly to visit grandchildren, um, we can't always find a pool to swim in, and that's, you miss it. But it, it, time off from anything is almost always good, too. It's, it's, we haven't experienced anything really traumatic. And how's your overall health better? Is there any way to quantify that? Well, for swimming for me is... Uh, just uh, so non-stress on any of my joints. I used to walk and run, and I had some knee issues and hip issues, and now when I swim, I I don't have any issues. And I feel like it's strengthened me for walking, uh, not running anymore, but walking. um, uh, So it's it's overall health-wise, it's great. Yeah, and I had triple bypass about 15 years ago, which was a surprise to me and all my friends because most people thought I was pretty healthy but I had some genetic problems that just showed up and um, (laughs) knocked me down but my blood numbers the lipid profiles and other things like that you know I just had one two weeks ago with the heart doctor here and my blood numbers are better than they've ever been in my life Mm -hmm. and some of them are not medicine related Um, there, there's something that you can only improve with exercise, and um, yeah. and it's a, I've proven it to, to work. How long have you and Ingrid been married? I'll let Ingrid answer that one. 
<laughs> It'll be 40 years in 40 June. 40 years. <laughs> That's amazing. How has she changed since you guys came to Laguna Woods? Have you noticed that? I mean, she's an amazing lady, but have you noticed any differences? Well, the biggest difference is when the, the life is very different, at least for us, when we were working. Because we both had um, some pretty stressful jobs and and I think we both had sort of a, a, a view of doing, trying to do them at a very, very high level. And um, that surprisingly takes a toll on, on you. And so for, for Ingrid, you know, just everything is way, way relaxed. And, um, you know, our families have come here since we moved here. And that's been a huge difference. My mother lives two doors from us, and Ingrid takes care of her a lot. And she's 95. She played nine holes of golf yesterday. No uh, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and then my sister moved from Iowa um, in May, and she's here now, and she helps with our mother, and but she still works. And then Ingrid can tell you about her part of her family that's here and what that man. Yeah, I have a sister that just moved in in the summer and uh, her husband and they take care of my aunt and uncle who are 99 and 89. <laughs> and so uh, we and uh, we mo actually moved down here to this area because this is where I grew up and Clark spent most of his uh, growing up years here too and my parents were around here and a couple other sisters and his brothers are here so we got to come down and be close to family and so now our life our, the, the work part of our life is sort of an elder care uh, type uh, thing but we get to do it at a really relaxed uh, uh, pace that must be a really nice feeling yeah it's been so great huh. <laughs> yeah yeah and yes. her, his mother loves living here. She moved here um, from San Bernardino, a house that she lived in for 50 years. And she loves it here. And she especially just loves sitting outside on her patio, My mom's looking the same at the way. trees yeah. and it's the birds. It's so peaceful, right? Yeah. She probably uh -huh. feels like she's dying down yeah. to heaven. Yep. Yeah, she exactly. never stops talking about the trees and My the birds too. and she's the butterflies. <laughs> yeah. Isn't yeah. that it's, amazing? Yeah. 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 And she didn't really want to move. We, we made her because <laughs> she needed to be two doors or close taken to family care. but yeah. but it's it, that's that's one of those sort of um, you can't quantify that those kinds of feelings and experiences they're priceless for right? people they are Absolutely. priceless and yeah and and we shouldn't ever um mm -hmm. quantify them by complaining about how much it costs to take care of the trees or the flowers or whatever you <laughs> it is priceless yeah what advice would you give people that you know are seeing this show Maybe they'd like to up their exercise a bit or start exercising. You know, you taught swimming for 40 years. Do you have any suggestions for people? Well, anyone can swim at some level, probably, most everyone. And there's nothing wrong with having help, you know, like Ingrid's fins or um, yeah. even the, the um, noodles to float around in. Um, we all knew Al and how much he got out of coming in every day and just going back and forth in the pool. And we live on a corner <laughs> and we sit out on our patio. We, we eat out there one, two, three times a day and we're just above the sidewalk and I'd say, you know, 50 people an hour walk, you know, around us and it's, so there's, there's great walking opportunities without any risks really at all. Yeah. Um, of sort of traffic so we just enjoy being around that because movement is the key yeah that's is. what i'm learning you yeah. gotta move yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no matter what mm -hmm. that's what my doctor told us he said no matter what you do don't stop moving <laughs> do it to as long as you can mm. yeah yeah right. you guys are great thank you very much oh happy Thanks, to scott. do it scott <laughs> happy new year